In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection R2-D2 VC149 clean version and also compare them against some of the other R2-D2s that I have in my collection. Hello there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and as I mentioned in the intro, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the new R2-D2 from The Vintage Collection. He is part of the new wave of TVC that's just come out, which also included the Stormtrooper and Leia and Vader and Captain Rex and Luke Skywalker X-Wing. It's essentially a repack of the version that we got back in 2019, except for the fact that it's a clean version, which in my opinion is what they should have done in the first place. I never really understood what this paint application was, whether it was damage from the Battle of Yavin or if it was, you know, the sand and grime from Tatooine. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to take a look at the two card backs, compare them, and then we're also going to be comparing the figures. We're going to be opening this brand new one here, comparing them against the dirty version, which I do have loose here, as well as comparing them against some other R2-D2s that I have in my collection. So with all that being said, if you happen to enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into this. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the two card backs. At the end of the day, there isn't too much difference between the two because there was no warning label for them to move from the top right hand corner because this figure doesn't come with any accessories so there's no reason to have that warning on the top right hand corner you can see the four plus is a little bit different on the top left hand side and also the font that they've used for the name pill much bigger on the new version much smaller on the original version and of course the figures in the bubble the new version is that nice clean r2 which matches the card back image uh, there's no warning label at the bottom because they haven't had to move it either. So you've got that Kenner logo all nicely displaying there. And then if we look at the backs of the cards, you'll see the new version has got that new style with the figure there. Vintage Collection logo. They are both VC149. This one's got some of the other figures that were in that wave or figures that were released in and around the time the uh, VC149 was released. And as you can see, we still had lots of warnings going on on both of those card backs. They still haven't really nailed the card backs, in my opinion. This one has a little write-up about R2-D2. It says a skilled starship mechanic and fighter pilot's assistant, R2-D2, formed an unlikely but enduring friendship with the fussy protocol droid C-3PO, which, in my opinion, we need a new version of in TVC. So there's the two card backs. As I said, not really too much difference between them, apart from the fact that this one's got the unclean, and this one's got the nice clean R2-D2. And that's about it for the card back. Before I open up this figure, one other thing to note is that the card is the thicker card stock. The previous VC149 was when we had those really thin cards. And they, were, they were awful, to be honest. Uh, but there he is in the bubble. And let's crack him open and, and take a look at the figure. And there he is, R2-D2. All right then, so here is R2-D2 out of the packaging and essentially they're using the Builder Droid mold for this particular R2-D2. We've seen plenty of other figures using it as well. It is actually my favorite of all of the R2-D2s that we do have, except for maybe the 3.75 inch Black Series version, which I will show you in a second. And we will get all of the other R2-D2s lined up so we can just quickly compare them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in the unclean version, just so you can see there the differences they are exactly the same figure, except for the fact that this one is clean. Of course, with different factories and things like that, the paint application is gonna be ever so slightly different. You can see that this new one, the blue, is a little bit of a lighter shade of blue compared to the body of this one. But the, the domes look very, very similar to me. If we take a look at the back of the figures, you can see once again that they are exactly the same, even with that little yellow paint applications on the dome there. And all of those silver bits look pretty similar to me as well. You can see that this one actually does have a blue outer line to that piece there, which this one does not. You can just see there, which I'm not too sure if that's screen accurate or not, but they've added it anyway. And also that is the same on the front of the R2-D2 as well. You can just see there. I think that's quite nice actually. It brings out a little bit of the detail. And of course, this one is missing all of those sort of dirty paint apps there, oil and grime, whatever that is supposed to be, it's missing. I'm just gonna take the head off of this one so you can, can see that it is the builder droid that as we are used to. The you know legs come off as well and things like that. And also that center leg 
does come out as well. So in terms of articulation, the head basically swivels, the legs swivel. You've got a bit of articulation on the feet. And essentially, you can just have them rolling around like so. Now, the first R2-D2 that I want to compare the new one against is the one that I have on the right. And you will be right in thinking that it is pretty much exactly the same figure. You've got, once again, different shades of blue. This one, again, is missing that blue outer line of paint applications on that piece there. Now, if you're wondering what this R2-D2 is, this is actually the last Jedi R2-D2, which actually comes with more accessories than the Vintage Collection one. But I'm quite happy about that because the Vintage Collection one needs to look clean in that bubble. It doesn't need all of those fire effects, rocket boosters that this one does come with. But you can just see on the bottom of the foot there, it has that force link thing there, which means it can talk if you've got that force link strap thing that goes on your hand. But essentially the figures are exactly the same. I don't have the center leg on him for the moment. And as I said, he did come with the rocket boosters as well. So if, if you're after a clean R2-D2 and you don't really care about the card back or anything, then you might be able to just pick yourself up a Last Jedi version on that packaging for, for maybe cheaper than the Vintage Collection one. Uh, but of course, with the TVC one, you're getting that awesome card back as well, which is the classic Kenner card back that they used back in the day. But essentially those figures to me are pretty much identical. The next R2-D2 I want to compare him against is the one from the 3.75 inch black series. And I actually think that this R2-D2 is a really nice version of him. This one has the turny head, which then makes the center leg come out like so. And so therefore you can't remove the head or anything like that. This is not a builder droid droid but I think it looks pretty good. It's got all the paint applications that you need. The dome's nice. And all in all, I think there's not really too much between these two. It's, you know, it just depends if you want that feature of being able to turn the head to make the center leg go up into the body. But then we'll just look at the back. That one doesn't have the yellow painted eye. But all in all, very, very similar, these two. And the last R2-D2 that I want to compare this one was actually requested by a subscriber. And this is the Empire Strikes Back version that came out, was that last year? The Walmart exclusives. And essentially the feature of this one is the sensor scope from Empire Strikes Back, of course. And if you push that down into the body, his leg pops out the bottom. He also has the panel on the front of his chest which opens out which I'm not going to do because you'll never be able to get it back in and that's one of the reasons why I don't like this R2 particularly and also if you look at him he looks quite slim compared to this one I think the Builder Droid mold and the 3.75 inch black series one are a lot better than this particular R2-D2 and also I think the blue paint applications on that particular R2-D2 are a little bit deep in color or too much of a royal blue if that makes sense I think this one's a bit more accurate for what we're after. Okay then, and here's a group shot of all of the R2-D2s that have been featured in this video. I do have others in my collection, but these are the ones that I thought I'd use as a comparison. So we have the new VC-149 in the center. That's your new R2-D2. We have the Last Jedi version there, which is exactly the same pretty much. And then we have the oily, dirty version of these two, which was the original VC-149. We have the 3.75 inch black series version there where the leg comes out the bottom. And then we have the Empire Strikes Back version with the sensor scope just there. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be interested to know which is your favorite R2-D2. Let me know which ones you have in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. As always, your support means a great deal to me. So thank you so much. And we shall see you on the next one.